the defense, 25-20 in a fast-paced first period here in Logan. Skyview with the early lead. to always be on time within your appointment window. We are committed to getting our techs out there on time. We'll always be on time, guaranteed. I take pride in being there on time because it's what we guarantee to the customer. If we show up late to your home, we credit your account $20. That's a guarantee from us to you. I'm proud to work for a company that takes care of its customers. At Comcast, we're committed to delivering the best customer experience and products every day for every customer, guaranteed. Well, a wild first period, 25-20, Skyview leading Logan. Skyview paced by Jalen Moore, seven points. Casey Oliverson with six. For Logan, Dallin Dahl had six. Murphy and Falk with five apiece. It is thunderously loud in here. It is very loud. I don't know what you just said, but it had to be good. Between the band and the PA guy hollering yeah. and the fans. PA guy's mom must be in the audience wants to show off. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect basketball nice. environment. Yes, it is. Oh, looking for that back door again. Lucky. Oh, and Dahl still picks it up and scores. That's Dallin Dahl with the bucket. Dahl with eight to much, lead all scores. Much easier to score when your defender falls down. Oliverson to Oliverson. Now back to Nielsen. Ty Nielsen with four. Ty Nielsen for two. Brim Hall, flick of the wrist. He couldn't miss that shot in the JV game. He's a yeah. freshman. That kid is a shooting fool. Too long for more. Woo, careful, almost had a cheerleader sandwich. That's no good. It involved a cinder block wall. That's even worse. Larson, a little handle. Falk, Luke, and Benyon start the quarter on the bench for Logan Benyon with two fouls. Down low, Hazir gets free. Jake And it's a three point ball game, 27 24, as Knowles works against Dahl. This guy's a little more methodical in the second quarter. You got to think Coach Hilliard had that same chat. That we talked about in the pregame that they kind of wanted to control the pace and own the paint. Three ball, won't go. Knowles, his range is pretty much in the gym. Oliverson looks down low. Ty Nielsen's got Brimhall on his back. Brimhall with the foul. Nielsen with the finish. Looking by number 12, Ty Nielsen. Nielsen has six, he's looking for seven. That's the sixth team foul on Logan. So the rest of the way, it's free throws for the Bobcats. That could be humongous. That's a good read by Casey Oliverson, seeing that uh, Nielsen had the freshman posted up in the middle of the key all by himself. Nielsen's free throw too hard, and Falk picks up the Cheap foul on Oliverson. Foul on number 32, Casey Oliverson. That's first personal. Where's the basketball? Well, that's the first miss from the free throw line for Logan, or for Skyview, but they've only shot two free throws. Now what do they got? Well, Nielsen's just trying to run down the middle lane, act like he's not doing anything, but uh, Luke Falk throwing a few arms. A little physical right there. Luke's trying to get position, and Nielsen's blocking. That's his second foul. Coach Hilliard wants to know what's going on. They haven't given the ball to inbound it yet because he's talking to one of the officials. Now they 
trigger in. He's still talking to me. Fault. Three from the corner. No. Another foul. Another offensive foul. Foul on Jake Kazir. Called on Kazir. That's his second. Oh. How many that's offensive that's fouls have we seen tonight? Four. Okay. That's five turnovers for the Grizzlies. Graham Hall. Steal. Three. And that's Tyron Graham Hall for three. He's got a smooth shot. I was pointing his shot right. out to you in Time the, in the warm ups as he just blew the lid off the place in the JV game. And it's just a flick of the wrist, yeah. and he's a ninth grader. That means he's 15 years old. Maybe. Well, that's impossible to defend because as soon as he gets the ball, it is gone. Look at that. Our replay guys can barely even catch up to it. <laughs> he's six foot three. He's a ninth grader getting varsity time, so you're going to see him for a while. And he brings the Grizz back to within a bucket with six minutes to play in the half. It's 29 27. Definitely on pace to see a game in the 80s. We'll see if they keep oh, up yeah. the frenetic pace. Logan's used eight players. Skyview's only used six. Took him a long time, though, to bring any substitutes in. Took a little foul trouble from Logan to get Jordan or uh, Joe Benyon on the bench. Braden Helster, number 21, is in for Skyview now. So now they've gone 70. Uh-oh. Oh, that one too tall for more, and then Falk touched it. Skyview dodges the bullet. Because in a game like this one, any play, any mistake can be magnified. Oliverson loses it. Out of bounds. Logan Ball. That's Fourth turnover for the Bobcats. Jason Oliverson a little rattled bringing that ball up. Almost turned it over once and then finally finished the deal and turned it over on the baseline. Brimhall, another three right in Moore's face. Won't go. Rebounded by Nielsen, who's playing with two fouls. Nielsen. That's charge. All the way in. Call. Charge. Yeah. That's his third foul. He's going to have a seat. That's an offensive foul. Number 12, Ty Nielsen, his third personal. And I'm sure Coach basketball. Hilliard's Second telling him, hey, you got two. You got to be careful on that one. Well, oh, and Kazair was planted. I mean, his feet were in cement. That was a 10-step run at it. He'd been standing there so long, he was checking his, <laughs> checking his email on his phone. <laughs> Johnny Luke back into the ball game. He kicks it out to Falk. His three gives the Grizzlies a one-point lead. Falk with eight. Five minutes to play in the half. 30-29, Logan. Moore's been quiet here in the second period. He throws that one away. Goes into the backcourt. Oliverson has to try to save it. And it goes out of bounds. Fifth turnover for the Bobcats. Coach Hill, you're trying to calm his players down after this mishap into the backcourt. Jason Oliverson does a good job trying to get to it, but just can't, can't throw it to anybody on his own team. Just throws it out of bounds. Hayden Downs, number 35, into the ball game for Skyview. Johnny Luke leaves it off for Larson. That's a tough pass when you're already uh, eight feet in the air. Fault down the lane, oh. slaughtered by Oliverson. And he says, get out of here with that weak sauce. Oh. Murphy coming back into the game, and Larson will sit. Look at that. Let me put this on a tee for you, sir. Boom, brings out the driver. That was awesome. What a great game this is. Now Mo Murphy gets shoved, and he'll go to the line. The foul is on Knowles. Now on number 10, Riley Knowles, his first personal. Oh, well, Knowles, uh, Knowles lets a man like Murphy get that deep. There's really only two options. Let him score or push him in the back. 
Grizzlies are two for two from the free throw line. There's two more coming up. And he misses the first. Dallin Godfrey will replace Oliverson, Jason Oliverson. And now Skyview real small in that uh, in that backcourt. 5'8 and 5'9. Murphy misses both. Oliverson, not, he knocked that one off Kazir, but I don't know if any of the officials were anywhere that could see it. That one went off of Kazir's back. Unless Kazir had already put his foot down out of bounds. Let's see. They're discussing. I think they're going to jump it. Just say jump ball. That's what they're going to call, which is the right thing to do if you don't know. Elstrom triggering inbounds. And those is quick. Yeah, gives it off to Oliverson. He has it stripped. It goes out of bounds off of Oliverson's knee. So quick, Oliverson didn't know it was coming. That's a turnover, Grizzly basketball. And they'll split that double team, clear out between the circles. He got right to the rim. Logan with the one point lead. The scoring slowed down here in this second period. Fault, out of bounds, turnover. Good defense by Hayden Down, six foot three senior. Uses the baseline as a second defender. Knowles, three. Rims around and out. Well, that's the shot you want. You got a screen and open look from Knowles. Just can't find the bottom. Brim Hall with the board. Johnny Luke coming the other way. Johnny Luke to the rack. Johnny! Oh, uh -huh. Used a little bit of English to roll it off the front of the rim. Johnny Luke with four points. Logan with the three-point lead. Three ball. Won't go. Rebounded out of there by Logan. As Downs is too long. Skyview only four points in this second period after scoring 25 in the first. And they've kind of slowed down the tempo. They were really beating the Grizzlies up and down the floor. Kazir leans in. Won't go, rebound. Helston. Not a good look from Kazir. He's got to get better position than that. Two men front and right underneath the basket. Cotteridge, three, goes. Five, That's Godfrey, pardon me. You have a little flashback, aren't you? I really am. I'm looking at Braxton Goddard on the uh, the sophomore <laughs> on there. His number's not even close, but I'm looking at the roster. Brimhall tries to answer. Oh my yeah, God. he does. <laughs> Holy crap. That kid shot a sick. Oh, and the steal. steal. And the charge. Won't oh, go. Block. And he'll go to the line. That's honestly that's the hardest call in basketball. The charge block call. The player control. Yep. And uh, that sure looked like a charge. I would have called that a charge if I was ready. Well, you know, I think the uh, Skyview player looked like at the last second he leaned forward into it. Maybe that's what made it. Maybe. Made it look different than what they call. I'm telling you, it's the hardest call. Grimhall's shot is good. Checking in for the Bobcats, number 13, Michael Berenson, and number 14. That foul is on Dallin Godfrey. Grimhall hits both. Checking in for Grizzlies, number 25. He's got eight points. Dahl back in the game, and Brimhall will sit. All eight points. For Brim Hall scored here in the second period. And it's a five point Logan lead, their largest lead of the game. They were down by five to start the period. Two minutes to play here in the second. Well, Skyview's been outscored 17 to seven in this period. 
Wasn't it 20-25? Yep. yep. Yeah. Murphy, three. 